Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave, a Dutch artist, and I'm currently working on a graphic novel which is called World of What If Horus Hippo Returns. And Horus Hippo is a cartoon character, and in this video I'm going to show you the design of this poster. It's printed in two colors, so in black and yellow. And this is the Dutch version of the poster, but the English version for the UK is now available on Redbubble. Horace Hippo is a fictional cartoon star from the 1920s. To make the impossible plausible, I created a fictional history. I had to design posters, sketches and interviews with my grandfather, Marinus Hollanders. From 1926 until 1928, he produced 12 Horace Hippo animation shorts with his studio, Taken Film Fabriek Hollandia. The films were first distributed in the Netherlands. The Dutch name of Horace Hippo is Quab. For distribution in the UK, he changed the name to Horace Hippo. All of the films were destroyed in the fire when his home was bombed by the Germans in 1940. The only thing that survived the fire is this archive box with model sheets, sketches, interviews and movie posters. This is the poster of the second Horace Hippo short that was released on August 20th, 1926. The English version was released in the UK in 1927. In that period, animation shorts were parodies on books, plays and movies. For instance, the first released Mickey Mouse short, Steamboat Willie, was a parody on the movie Steamboat Bill by Buster Keaton. Horace Hippo's vaudeville was a parody on the vaudeville act of Louis Baumeister, a famous Dutch artist who toured the Dutch theatres with his vaudeville act. In order to make the design of the poster, I needed to know the story of the animation short. The poster I made entirely in Procreate. I drew in the largest file size possible, 84 cm by 118.8 cm, at 250 dpi. I first started with the Dutch title. I used fonts that were made in the 1920s. The Taken Film Fabriek Hollandia logo I copied from the first poster and had it on a separate layer. I made several sketches of the poster in Procreate. I wanted Horace Hippo dancing. First I tried it with a straw hat and a striped jacket. Sketching is just exploring different options. I settled for a top hat and tails, like Fred Astaire. To draw in this style you need to delve into the past and see what was popular back in the day. In 1925 Josephine Baker was a big success in Paris. She danced at the Folie Bergère in a short skirt of artificial bananas. I decided to draw Harlow Hippo with a similar skirt but made out of straw. The sketches I draw in blue and quite rough. On a new layer I refined the sketch and after that I created a new layer for the cleanup. On another layer I inked Horus and Harlow Hippo. Posters were usually printed in one or two colors. For this poster I chose yellow and black. The background color I set to yellow. On the layer above I drew a white circle. For the characters I made a layer for the black ink and one for the yellow ink. I also used the halftone filter in Procreate to create a grey halftone in black and a light yellow halftone. The jacket of Horace Hippo has 100% yellow with on top the black halftone. With this I created a darker yellow tone. Then I inked the titles by hand to create a more hand-drawn effect. On the top layer I imported a scan of old stained paper to make the poster look worn down. And on a separate layer I drew in some smudges. Then I created the English version of the poster, changing the title into Ors Hippo's Vaudeville. The poster is now available on Redbubble as a poster, but also on other products like a canvas print, postcard, 
a spiral notebook and even as a magnet. I'll leave a link to Redbubble in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Because each time I upload a new video you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!